If our first story was not spooky enough for you, then may we offer a dramatization of one of Edgar Allan Poe's most famous and exciting stories, The Telltale Heart. Mr. Canode will be the man who experiences this is, the man who, well, I'll let him tell the story. I will tell you the story, just as it happened to me, just as it happened, you understand. Perhaps you'll say I'm mad. I'm not. I'm nervous, yes, very, very nervous, but you can you say that I'm mad? Now listen, listen how calmly I can tell you the whole story. Everything that happened. I didn't hate the old man. I loved him. <laughs> he never did anything to me, never insulted me, he never did said anything about me. I wasn't after his money, and he had plenty of it. I don't know what it was. Yes, I think I do. It was his eye. An eye like a vulture, a pale blue eye with a film over it. It was the evil eye. Whenever I saw it, my blood ran cold, and I had to destroy it. I laid my plans carefully. Every night at midnight, I opened the door of his room, oh so gently. I didn't want to wake him. He would have laughed to see how cunningly I thrust in a dark lantern and focused a single ray upon that vulture eye. That evil eye. Would a man-man have worked so cautiously, so carefully as that? For seven nights, I found the eye closed. But in the eighth night, as he lay in his bed, I opened the door, slowly, very slowly. But the door creaked, and it woke him. I could hear him sit up in bed, but I just stood there, not making a sound. After a long while, I opened the door a little wider. Uh, uh, who's there? Who's there? I, I said. Are you frightened? What are you doing now, old man? Aren't you saying to yourself, it's only the wind in the chimney you hear? You're awake? You are not dreaming. Who? Who is there? What, what is it that you want? You're saying to yourself, it's only a mouse crossing the floor, aren't you? <laughs> but you're wrong. Is there someone there? What, what, what is this? What is it? Every night at midnight, I must see your eye. But every night, it has been closed. Go away. Go away. For seven nights I have gone away. Seven nights. You never knew about that, did you? I have, I have money enough for both of us. Take it. Take it all. It's not that. I don't want that. It's your eye, old man. I want your eye. Take that light away. Don't shine that light on me. Your evil eye. You're mad. Go away. Go away. Now I see it. Now I see it in this light. There it is. Wide open, that hideous veil over it. A vulture's eye. Damn it. I've, I've been kind to you, haven't I? I've been kind to you. Yes, yes, but I must destroy that evil eye, or it will destroy me. Take that light away. You're mad, I tell you. You're mad. Mad? 
My mind was never clearer, nor my senses sharper in my whole life. What's that? Don't you hear that? That thumping? What is it? Wait, shh. I have it. It's your heart. You're a cursed heart. Stop it. Stop it, I tell you. Stop it beating like that. Do you hear me? I said stop it or you'll wake the neighbors. Stop it. Stop it or I'll stop it for you. If you still think me mad, you'll change your mind when I tell you of the pains I took to conceal the old man's body after I'd done away with that awful eye. The night was still young, but there was so much to do, and I had work. I had to work fast. I took up three planks from the floor of the room and hid the old man so cunningly that no human eye, not even his, could have detected anything wrong. How could a madman have thought of all that? <laughs> but the important thing is that I was free, free, free of that awful eye. There was the old man right under my feet, right under the floor, but his cursed heart was still. I was dancing a little jig to celebrate when who's there? Open the door in the name of the law. Who is it? The police. <clears throat> oh, officer, it's rather early for a call, isn't it? Sorry to disturb you, but some of the neighbors heard a scream. Someone heard a scream from my house. Well, we don't know where it came from exactly. They couldn't say. Oh, I see. Then why don't you come here? Well, we've looked at several houses. Why should we make an exception of yours? The scream may have come from here. Why, yes. Yes, I suppose it could have been. You see, I, I had a rather bad nightmare tonight, and perhaps I screamed in my sleep. Mm, yes, I suppose that's possible. You mind if I have a look around through your house a bit? Purely a matter of duty, you understand? Why, of course not. Look anywhere at all. I pride myself on always being willing and ready to cooperate with the police. Where would you like to start? Well, hmm. Let's we'll start over there in that room. By all means. Whose room is this? An old man who lives here, sleeps here. And where is he now? This bed has been slept in. Yes, I know. I, I slept here tonight. Where's the old man? He left for the country. Oh, fully a week ago. This old man, you and he got along well? You had no quarrel with him? Oh, we're the best of friends. I see. Any of his stuff here? Of course. All of his money, his clothes, his jewelry, everything. You'll find them all right here. Hmm. Why didn't he take his belongings to the country with him, I wonder? He was going away for a rest. A rather long rest, I would say. He's very, it's very quiet where he is now. He knew he wouldn't need his money or clothes or jewelry. So he left them with me. I was his closest friend. I see. Well, everything seems to be in order. Thank you. I thought you'd find it that way. I'm really a quiet person, you know. Yeah, you seem to be. I'm sure anybody swear you were an honest, law-abiding citizen. Well, I'll be on my way. Oh, no, no, please don't hurry. You've done your duty. You've searched the neighborhood, found nothing wrong. Now you must be fatigued. Let me give you a glass of wine. I have one right here. 
Well, that's that's nice of you. Don't mind if I do. A glass of wine on a night like this doesn't go amiss. Here we are. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Sit down, officer. Thank you. No, 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 not there. Let me place the chair for you. Oh. There. Uh, do you like the wine? Oh, oh, it's an excellent wine, sir. Uh, by the way, um, merely as a matter of curiosity, where was the old man when he saw him last? Oddly enough, right where you're sitting. Hmm. Say, are you feeling okay? You look rather pale. Oh, uh, I'm all right. Can't sit still, can you, sir? What's the matter? Nerves troubling you? Well, I, I do have rather jumpy nerves. Do you find the wine good? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. It's an excellent wine. How about the, it's, it's about the best port I've ever had. Pardon me, officer. Do you, do you hear anything? Hmm. Well, I thought I heard a shutter banging a minute ago. No, 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 not, not that. I just, it was just my ears are sort of, sort of throbbing. No, no, I didn't notice anything. Say, this wine. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, the wine. I, I, I take particular pains with my cellar. I always try to. Are you sure you don't hear that? No, not a thing. Maybe it's the wind. It's a very windy outside. Yes, perhaps that's what it is, the wind. You know, I always think that... I hear it, I tell you. Don't you? No, I don't hear anything. Now, sit down or you'll upset your nerves, and I don't... And, and don't talk so loud. I can hear you perfectly. It's quiet in here. Why are you smiling, smiling at me? I hear something. Don't you hear it? I'm not smiling. It's your imagination, I think. My imagination? It's not. I can tell you, here. I know what it is. It's here, right here in this room. I can hear it throbbing, throbbing. Here, here. Smashing that chair won't help, sir. It will, it will, it will, I tell you. I stopped it once. I stopped it, I tell you, and I'll stop it again. And I can't hear a thing. No throbbing. Nothing. There it is. <laughs> it's louder. Laugh. Go ahead. Smile. Smile that I can hear it. Listen louder. It's getting louder. Perhaps, sir, you'd better tell me now. I did it. I did it. I can't stop it. Tear up the planks. His heart right there. I tell you, go ahead. Tear up the planks. There you hear it. You'll hear it too. It's the heart. I tell you, it's the beating of the accursed heart. The heart that won't be still.